good YouTube because of coffee here. So we're diving into some more of the vinyls. This is a live cut from 1984 of the song Science Fiction. Very excited to dive into some more of the vinyls, man. Chrissy is insane in the attitude, man. Such a shame that we don't have that attitude with us anymore, right? But we have all of this footage preserved and here for us to enjoy and appreciate and break down all the lyrics to, man. And really, what more could you ask for? You have the history and we can go back and view this and appreciate it. And that's amazing. So if you're new here, please subscribe. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, stage performances, crowds, all that jazz, man. We analyze everything on here. We try to notice all kinds of like little details and shit like that that make it real fun for everybody. So that's the way that we do it on here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm Vacasa Copy. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is the vinyls. Science Fiction Live 1984. I love spacey vibes like this. That sucked me in. You can tell that it sucked her in too. So she's just staring off into like the whole cosmos while she's singing that. Right? <laughs> she's really sucked into that. When I was young, I was so naive. Mm, wow. I thought that love was science fiction until I saw you today. Now that love is my addiction, I've thrown all my books away. Hmm. <sighs> Saying you become addicted to a person's essence, right? You start to consume your time with being around that person. The old things that you used to do to fill all your time before you had that person around. You don't have to do those things no more because now you got a person to do things with. But you can't give up all your hobbies either. You have to bear those things in mind as well. You still have to have things for yourself even whenever you're with somebody. Bear that in mind when it comes to relationships. I mean, I'm not the type of person that tries to get into a, a relationship at this point in my life. Because I'm recovering from other things, right? Other things to deal with for me at this point in my life, so... I don't really try to speak much about relationships on here because I'm not here for that. That's not what I'm doing in my life currently at this point. I'm just trying to fix my own self right now. <sighs> you gonna love it though, man. This vibe is everything. Like I said, it sucked me in so long that I didn't even pause forever. <laughs>
was young, I was so naive, oh, I didn't believe, I didn't believe you. Never thought that we'd last this long, always thought that they'd drop the bomb on you. Ooh, I was saying, like, I always thought that the, wow, <coughs> okay, you could take that as saying, like, it was so, it was like too good to be true, right? It was so damn good and so precious that it felt like at any moment anything from the universe could have just snagged it away, dropped a bomb on you, right? Never thought we'd last as long. And this, I mean, this could be talking about a lot of different circumstances metaphorically as well, right? Could be about humanity as well, right? Man, but... I'm going to take it as just general love, right? Science fiction. <laughs> I thought love was science fiction, they said. <laughs> I like that. That's cool right there. Because, like, it's specific. It's not saying, like, love was, like, fiction, right? It's saying science fiction. It's very specific to a type of fiction that love is similar to, which adds a whole different layer to it because science fiction has its whole own thing going on. Very, very like a, it's almost like a skeptical genre. You know what I mean? The kind of topics you get into with a science fiction genre. It's very skeptical and a lot of intriguing, weird shit and putting love inside of that description. Very fitting. Perfectly fitting. Man. Little details. <laughs> gotta love whenever the vocalists just hit notes and stuff like that without fucking autotune because it's just such an uncommon thing nowadays to actually have genuine raw performances like this like her mic is so raw you can it, it's so raw that it's laid back in some points even like in the mix a bit it's even laid back a bit it's so raw on the mic and that's every microphone that we have on these fucking performances we've been watching. Just nothing ran through it, like nothing to alter the tone or pitch or anything like that. Because you can do that with microphones even at a live show nowadays. You can auto-tune a microphone at a live show. So, none of that here, man. <laughs> this is just raw emotion and talent and fucking great musicians jamming out with each other and having a genuinely good time for the whole world to enjoy as well. You all love it. Yeah, you can hear her dancing too as well. You can even hear the dancing inside of her vocals like the microphone. It's not that her fucking voice is faltering. Her voice is staying smooth, but through the dance moves and bouncing around, you can like hear the subtle movements inside of the microphone. You know what I mean? Fucking mic control is a crazy fucking thing, man. Like, we watch people like John Farnham has some of the craziest fucking mic control in the entire world. We've watched that man shift his whole body to make notes happen inside of a microphone. You gotta love it. I love finding the little details of stuff like that. You can even tell in the motions of stuff what, how the sound shifts and everything if you really pay attention. <laughs> She was actually timing her steps in between the notes that she was hitting, like she was hitting stutter notes there, and she was timing her steps 
with the breaths she was taking in between the notes so it wouldn't cause the falter that wasn't supposed to be in that spot. That is really cool right there. I don't know if any of you guys have ever noticed that, but I just did. That's technical right there. She actually timed her bounces that would cause a breath to happen where the sutters were supposed to be. <laughs> And some it's very like it's grindy right <laughs> it's like grinding on the synthesizer side of it right there's a lot of spacey grindiness going on in here i love it very electronic influenced with the fucking upbeatness of it as well very dancey and catchy on the vocals the cadence is catchy and the topic of it man it's about love being science fiction, being naive, didn't want to believe that something could be so amazing, and if it is there, you feel like it might get snatched the fuck away. <laughs> That's crazy, man. You gotta love it. This is an awesome performance. Wow. She is also making some of the synthesizer sounds herself as well. The grindy noises by fluctuating, like, the direction of her mouth, the flow of the air, right? She's, man. So, Lord have mercy. This is technical. There's some serious mic work going on here. Look at, just watch... Watch her face and look at how she's working that microphone to make those, like, grindy kind of... It's like whisper notes in between the higher notes that she's doing. It's really cool. Right here. Yeah. She threw a little s in there, too. Yeah, <laughs> she threw a hiss in there. Oh my god, this is awesome, dude. She's really good. This well, this live performance shows it off because this is the first live performance we've done by them because we did two music videos. Man, this right here is fucking something, man. Holy shit. I didn't realize like the level up vocal control until we witnessed it with this video right here she is on one man <laughs> stuff that we get into on here for real this is classic i like shots like this we can actually see the whole stage here they went with a laid back darkened lighting with the white strobes for the lighting on this performance very fitting for the size of the stage it's a smaller stage than a lot of the stages we've seen on here a lot of the stages we see on here are like running a fucking marathon quite literally <laughs> Man, the stadium stages, right? But this is more laid back. 
I like how laid back this performance is. And like I said, vocally going in so many technicalities inside of the vocals of this, actually, when you really dive in and pay attention to it, the layers of sound going on to make this sound as spacey as it does with the upbeat backbeat carrying it as well. This is a dope ass fucking performance right here. I like this. This was fucking awesome. I'm going to leave a like on this video right here. <laughs> Subscribe to the vinyls. Support all the artists we have on the channel. As always, that's what we do this for. The original video will be in the description. This was fucking awesome right here. I love the vibe of this. And this got us actually able to see how technical the vocal side of this really is. The mic work and everything like that. I like that we did the live version of this. We got, we finally got to dive into the technicalities behind of all of it because we could finally see it properly being performed live. This was fucking amazing. So glad that we're diving into the vinyls and all of these amazing Auss Aussie artists that y'all have requested for me. The rabbit hole goes deep. Like I said, we still got like 15 or 20 freaking bands that we haven't even started on yet. And you guys keep dropping new ones too. So it's like the list is long. We, we have plenty to come on this journey through all of this amazing music i appreciate you guys being here so much the support means the world if you want to donate links are down in the description it'll get your requests bumped up to the top you go on the list and everything gets bumped up to the top if you request anything that you want to hear so i appreciate that extra support it means the whole world i know it's a struggle so your kindness and your generosity is highly appreciated you guys are amazing you're the mvps i appreciate the fuck out of the support it really means the whole world so we're gonna get out of here i'm because coffee a reaction video a day or two keep the doctor away fuck those apples leave a like for me comment your suggestions subscribe up this way bang that notification bell i'll see you guys in the next one i love you so much thank you for everything have a beautiful one peace